If you're a wedding or portrait photographer, this video is about saving you hundreds of hours of time each year when it comes to editing. I'm gonna show you an AI-based plugin for Lightroom Classic that works natively, not only with the application, but with your own presets. And with it, you can edit weddings in less than an hour. You can edit portrait sessions in a fraction of the time. You know what, let's just get into it. Hello, my friends. My name is Pi. Welcome to SLR Lounge. Now, if you've been here a while, you know I like to get straight into things and not waste your time. So let's do that. I have Lightroom Classic loaded up here and I have a sample set of raw files just from a recent wedding that I shot. Now, what we're talking about today is a plugin that's called Impossible Things. So step one is to download and install it. You guys can do that from things.co or develop.com. It's actually the same application on both sites. And I'll tell you a bit of the story as we kind of go along because we're actually co-founders in this application. Once you have it installed and you have some raw files loaded, and I'm gonna go through kind of the nitty gritty of this, but step two uh, would basically be just to edit the photos. And the coolest thing about this is it's native to Lightroom Classic. So watch this. I'm gonna select the images. This is just a sample set of kind of teasers from a recent wedding. And I'm gonna go right to the file menu to plug in extras. And this is where you'll see impossible things after you've installed it. Go ahead and select edit photos. Now from here, so basically this is your editing dialogue. And this is what I mean by it's Lightroom Classic native. It's not only native and it works within the application. So you're not uploading XMPs. You're not downloading catalog files. It's right here inside of Lightroom. You just need a persistent internet connection because the images are uploaded to our servers to actually edit the photos. And it's also native to your presets. So unlike any other solution here, this actually works with any preset that you have installed inside of Lightroom. So what you're gonna do is actually select whatever preset you'd like. So I'm gonna start with just our classic kind of lineage versus style is Visual Flow Modern. And I'm gonna select Soft Light. And a note here, if you are a develop or Visual Flow preset user already, you'll notice that your packs automatically get loaded when you install impossible things. So your packs are right there and any packs that have a check next to them, those presets are basically cloud tuned already. So they're essentially ready to go out of the box. From there, once you have your presets selected, you're gonna choose your optional settings. So yes, there is perceptive cropping, there is perceptive straightening. So I'm gonna select those because it's always gonna save me time. I have adaptive noise reduction, I have adaptive lens correction, I'm selecting those as well. And I can also have impossible things do AI enhancements and basic AI retouching over these images, which does a beautiful job. It's gonna keep the, the edits subtle, so the retouching is subtle, but it's noticeable and it's, it's nice. And the enhancement is gonna lift out my subjects a little bit from the background. Once I'm ready, basically we can see that we have our available credits and side note, for downloading and kind of creating an account, every one of you will get 500 free edit credits. So you can start with that, play around with that. And I'm gonna show you how to get the most of that in just a second. But I wanna just show you how simple this is. When you're ready, hit proceed. And from here, what Lightroom Class is gonna do is take each of these preview files, it's going to export them, upload them, and then the server is going to kick back all the develop settings and you're going to see it literally be updating as we're going. So watch what's happening right now. I can sit here and scroll and you can see each one of these images start to get updated and look at how beautiful the edits are. It applies my preset. It gets the color grading down. It gets the white balance. It's adjusting everything. And if you're wondering how this works, so we actually released this a little bit earlier this year and it's been in early access this entire time. We just took it out of early access. And if you use the early version, you can see the, the kind of improvements that have been made, the consistency, the editing, it's so freaking good now. And every one of these images is just beautiful straight out of this. So that's it. All 54 images have now been edited. So while I was just explaining that, all those images were edited and, and look at the, the quality of each of these edits. Now, one thing that I did a moment ago was I actually uh, I applied the the AI masking, the, the retouching as well as the enhancements, right? So one thing you want to do whenever you do that is press Alt-Control-U or Option-Command-U and I'm doing it over the same set of images. So you'll notice that all the same images are selected. What this will do is automatically update all the AI masks for each of these images simultaneously. So if you imagine I've already say cold my wedding, I have 800 or 1000 images there. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. It takes 10, 15 minutes to run. I run the AI update 
And then all I'm gonna do is run through the images quickly, just review them, make any tweaks, do my kind of final adjustments and call it a day. This is how we can now edit weddings in less than an hour, portrait sessions in a fraction of the time. I mean, it makes editing so incredibly simple and all of it is done right from the Lightroom Classic interface. So I'm gonna give this just a moment to kind of complete and in that moment, I'll kind of tell you a little bit about the background of this. So we actually partnered, if you guys have used Visual Flow presets, you know that that's our company. Our approach to developing presets became part of the data set and the technology to this AI. So we actually teamed up with Develop. So Jeff Newsom and Ken Liu, they've been great partners with us. We teamed up to create impossible things where now we can take basically our, our development technology and wrap it into AI. And Jeff has done an incredible job. The AI team has done such amazing work with this. And now we're finally at this place where we're like, dude, this is, this is ready to go big time. And right now I wanna show you, we're gonna fast forward to this kind of completing because it will take a couple minutes just to update all those. But I'm gonna show you how you can also do custom tuning and how you can set this up to be exactly what you want it to be. Before we set up custom tuning, I just want you to see these edits. It's, it's wild just how good the edits are. This is, this is I, I have not done anything to these other than just the AI. And look at the consistency between them. It is out of this world. The retouching, if I actually click on one of these, so if we go to the develop module, you'll notice that when we go into the uh, local adjustments, you'll actually see all the retouching settings being applied. So teeth, iris, eyes, face, everything is automatically applied to these images. And uh, it's, it's absurd. I mean, the way that this changes our entire workflow, it allows the photographer just to get back to doing what we love. I mean, it, it could be working on your business, it could be marketing, it could be shooting more, it could be just enjoying your life more, but that's what this plugin does. Uh, so this is absolutely crazy. And if you're wondering like, well, uh, you know, what did these images look like before? And check this out, this is, this is over like the details, right? So this isn't even like just for portraits. If I reset this, this is what the raw file looks like. So it not only applied the look, it cropped, it straightened, it did everything. This is the raw file on this one. Look at this adjustment. Look at how uniform these are. So as I put these next to each other, I mean, check this out. If we just look at the settings, I wanna press N and you can look at this. So all I'm doing at this point is just basically running through them, making minor adjustments here and there, but 95 to 99% of my work is essentially done for me. Okay, so let's talk custom tuning. So again, this works out of the box. So you don't need to upload thousands of images to train the AI. Nothing like that. We wanted this to be ready to go as a solution, but we also wanted some customizability to it. And this is one thing that we recommend um, just before you upload a, a large batch of images, we kind of recommend setting up custom tuning first. And we do have, by the way, a getting started guide, which will walk you through this process. Cause I know in this video, we're going a bit quick. I'm just excited to show you kind of all the features, but check out the getting started video for kind of a, a step-by-step -step breakdown. What I'm gonna do is go back to the plugin extras and under custom tuning here, I have the ability to basically set up a custom tuning adjustment for each preset that I'm using. So whether it's a develop preset, a visual flow preset, or just any of your own presets, you can select whatever preset that you want, choose it over here on the right side. So this is the folder, this is the actual preset. And then you can make adjustments to exactly what you want in terms of how you want the AI to edit that particular image. So you can turn up or down the overall intelligence. I usually leave it at 100% because it's really freaking good. Um, but if you like your images a little bit on the darker side, pull down exposure. If you like them a bit warmer, pull down temperature. And we also have an auto tune setting where you can select 25 images and the getting started guide will walk you through this process. But the auto tune makes it all uh, visual. So you actually don't have to do it just by these adjustments here. You just select 25 images. It's going to edit it for you. And then what you're gonna do is make your adjustments, come back and it takes all those adjustments in and saves it as your preset. Now remember, this custom tuning feature is for every single preset. So every preset that you have can have its own custom tuning. So we, we kind of recommend setting this up first before you go and like edit large numbers of images. But with your custom tuning dialed in, you are good to go. You can start throwing thousands of images at the AI editor and it's gonna spit them out, giving you incredible results. And I'm gonna create some, some more videos on this, um, videos on kind of case studies of how we do same day teasers, all of that. But I'm hoping just from this, you all see the potential and you go and download it and give it a shot. Remember, we're gonna give you 500 free edit credits and we'll link up everything in the description of the video as well. So you can find links to download it, create your account, 
If you're an existing developer Visual Flow user, you're gonna see your presets loaded right up and ready to go. Otherwise you can use your own presets. And yeah, I'm stoked to put this out there and to tell you guys that we are out of early access and this thing is powerful, ready to go. So if you have comments, questions, thoughts, you guys can post them in the comment section of the video. I do read all of them. I do my best to reply to every single one of them. And also we do have a Facebook group for impossible things. So we'll link that up too. So you guys can join and just kind of get more information, be directly connected also to the development team, Jeff, everybody. And uh, that's it. I'm going to get back to shooting. I have a wedding this weekend and I'm stoked to actually be able to edit everything in no time at all. Peace.